the heart of the engine, the four-stroke cycle. This cycle is the fundamental process that powers most of the vehicles we see on the road today. Imagine a car engine as a powerful rhythmic machine working tirelessly to convert fuel into motion. It works in a continuous cycle of four distinct strokes, intake, compression, power and exhaust. Each stroke plays a vital role in the engine's operation. Each stroke is crucial, like a beat in a musical rhythm to keep the engine running smoothly and powerfully. Without any one of these strokes, the engine would fail to function. This essay dives into the compression stroke, a critical phase where the engine prepares for the controlled explosion that creates its power. This phase is essential for the engine's efficiency and performance. Understanding the compression stroke is key to understanding how engines make cars move. It's the moment where potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy propelling the vehicle forward. Um, compression stroke, the squeeze before the bang. Compression stroke starts with the piston at the bottom of the cylinder, a chamber where the magic happens. Think of the cylinder as a tall, narrow can and the piston as a tightly fitting lid moving up and down. As the piston moves upward, it squeezes the air fuel mixture trapped inside the cylinder. This squeezing or compression is vital for the next stage of the engine cycle. Inside the cylinder, we embark on a fascinating journey through the heart of the engine. This is a step-by-step -step guide to understanding the compression process in an internal combustion engine. Let's break down the compression stroke into simple, easy-to-follow steps to grasp its importance and function. Step 1. The piston starts at the bottom of the cylinder, also known as the bottom dead center. At the start of the compression stroke, the piston sits at the bottom of the cylinder, ready to move upwards. Imagine a syringe with its plunger fully depressed, representing the piston at its lowest point. The air fuel mixture drawn in during the previous intake stroke fills the space above the piston. Step two, the upward movement begins. The piston begins its upward journey, much like when you slowly press the plunger of the syringe compressing the contents inside. This upward movement reduces the volume of the cylinder, forcing the air-fuel mixture into a smaller space. Step three, squeezing the mixture. As the space shrinks, the air-fuel mixture has nowhere to go but to squeeze tighter and tighter, increasing its density. This compression increases both the pressure and temperature inside the cylinder, making the mixture more volatile. Step four, ready for ignition. By the end of the compression stroke, the piston reaches the top of the cylinder, known as the top dead center, and the air-fuel mixture is highly compressed. This compressed mixture is now primed for ignition, setting the stage for the next stroke, which is the power stroke where the magic happens. The power of compression, why it matters. Imagine trying to light a single matchstick versus a whole bundle. The bundle with its concentrated fuel will burn much more fiercely. The same principle applies to the compression stroke. Compressing the air fuel mixture significantly before ignition delivers a much more powerful explosion. This in turn translates to more power output from the engine. A higher compression ratio generally means better fuel efficiency and performance. Key players, the components behind the compression. These elements work in harmony to ensure the engine runs smoothly and efficiently. Several key components work together to make the compression stroke possible. First, the piston, which is crucial for the engine's operation. The piston acts as the moving wall, compressing the mixture as it moves upward. It's a vital part of the engine's power generation. It's like a strong hand squeezing the air-fuel mixture, ensuring it's ready for ignition. Next, the cylinder. This chamber provides the space for the compression to occur. It's the arena where the magic happens. The smoother and more tightly sealed the cylinder walls, the better the compression. This ensures maximum efficiency and power output. Lastly, the valves. During the compression stroke, the intake and exhaust valves remain tightly closed. They play a critical role in maintaining pressure. Think of them as doors, sealing the cylinder shut to prevent any leaks. This ensures that no pressure is lost the coordinated action of these components ensures a tight seal, maximizing the compression of the air-fuel mixture. This synergy is what makes the engine so powerful and efficient. 
I'll recap the compression stroke's role in the engine cycle. The compression stroke is a vital beat in the rhythmic cycle of a four-stroke engine. It sets the stage for the powerful explosion that drives the engine's rotation, ultimately powering your vehicle. By squeezing the air-fuel mixture, the compression stroke ensures a more efficient and powerful burn, maximizing the engine's performance. Understanding the compression stroke provides a fundamental understanding of how engines generate power from a simple mix of air and fuel.